gotta put this ring on. There we go. There we go. There we go. Is that good? What's good, y'all? It's your boy, L A R O C K. Hey! Back for another video. Hey, do you guys like the new lens? Yes? No? Maybe so? Let me know because I recently just got a new lens. Shout out to Amazon for hooking me up. You know what I'm saying? I got this like wide, wide angle lens for iPhone. It's really good. Like I look far. Like I look, I look wide. You know what I'm saying? I could do, I could do different angles. I could do. You could look at me from under here. You know what I'm saying? You can. It's not even funny. It's, it's probably why I don't have a girlfriend. But honestly, I know you guys read the title. Uh, today's the day, my guy. We get the retwist, and I might be, you know, changing the color of my hair. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. I don't want to say anything else before I change my mind because y'all know LaRock, bro. I can't, bro. I can't, it's hard for me to make a decision. I'm a Gemini. Like, one minute, I want to wear green. The next minute, I want to wear pink. But either way, stick around to the end of this video so that way you can see the whole vlog. You know what I'm saying? This is a good video. I like. I enjoy vlogging for you guys. You know what I'm saying? But hey, without further ado, I got a hair appointment tomorrow in the morning. No, tomorrow at 12 o'clock. Yeah, no. Wait, when is my appointment? It's 1230. 1230 tomorrow. So yeah, I'm about to go lay down. So yeah, without further ado, good night. Bam! Okay, I'm being honest. That was a trashy. That bro, that that transition was trash. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, I'm on my way to my appointment, guys. It's the next day. My appointment's at 12:30. It's 12:05. I'm always late to every appointment. I'm being honest. I'm sorry, Makai. You, you know me. I'm late, but it's all good. It's all good. But one thing I had to do, I had to go. I forgot to uh, to get my hair dyed because not hair dyed, but my hair. You know what I'm trying to say? I forgot to get the coloring because. Um, I'm thinking about doing burgundy today and I don't have it. So I have to go to the store and then get my retwist. I don't know. We're going to see what we're, we're going to see what today brings. Honestly, I don't, I don't know what to do. Uh, all I know is this vlog is going to be good. It's going to be a good video. Um, which, which way do I go? I'm going to take a right. But yeah. Um, yeah, I'm getting my hair done today. Finally, it's been like two months. I think today I'm, I'm not going to get a retwist. I'm just going to get them like, uh, interlocked like when they just put them inside out you know what i'm saying i feel like to be honest i feel like when they're interlocked they last way longer than like a regular retwist dog because retwist like i'm being honest a regular retwist for me at least it lasts it lasts like two weeks and then next you know my hair is back to this so it's like you know i'm just getting interlocked because last time i got it interlocked it lasted me like at least a month at least so uh yeah, I'm not gonna be vlogging and driving like this because I gotta use my GPS and I don't know where I'm going. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> really? One thing I told you about, they took some charcoal, some wire fluid, some charcoal in the family dollar and just set the store on fire. Dang. Yeah, yeah, she said she was having a bad day. That's a hell of a bad day then. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. But yeah, guys, right now we're about to go to the store get a couple supplies um get the hair dye let me fix this mic real quick this mic now what color am i going to get today look at all these colors guys they got all these colors i think i got this one in my hair right now i got this flaming orange we know i don't i got this one in my hair i don't know but i kind of want something like this or this or even this y'all see that like i want something that's like red velvet or like wine red, I'm not sure. But they got all types of colors, like look. But to be honest, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get this one, I think, or this one. I don't know, bro, like I said, I'm a Gemini. I have no idea what to get. It's between this one, this one, this one, and this one. It's between these four. I don't really know. I need Makai to come help me. It's between this one, this one and this one. Which is mean, these four? I don't know. Um. Well. Cause that picture it looks like she has something like that or this. I think this is a little more, a little too brown. Okay. Yeah. We want to stay more in the red, purple. Yeah. So I think it'll be between this one and this one. They're almost like the same. This one just seems a little washed out. So maybe this one to give it time to fade. Okay, so you think if we do red velvet, 
it's going to get brighter, right? What do you mean brighter? Like after I wash it. Right. Okay. Right. It'll fade over time. Not right away, but over time. Right. And I don't know if you see these down here, but there are a few other tones. What do you got more? Red and brown and this other brand. Here. Yeah, I like the colors down there. All right, I think I know what color I'm getting. I'm going to get, wait, which one you said? Red Velvet, yeah. Red Velvet. All right, guys, so I decided to go with Red Velvet and Intense Red, and Makaya is going to mix it for me, so that way I'm going to have like a unique color, so stay tuned. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Okay, which one do you prefer? Free forms or regular locks? Um, so, oh, that's a tough one. I don't know. I feel like free forms are nice if you um, got that type of look, you know, the rugged, you know, kind of free lifestyle. Yeah. Hippie type life. But if you like in like a corporate, you're not gonna <laughs> you're not going anywhere. Not the free forms is over. They just they I'ma just say they're not um professionally acceptable right now. Okay. I love them though. I think they look good. Right. Uh, I think they can be rocked great. Like J. Cole, you know, he was a rapper, now he played basketball, so he his own boss. He can wear yeah. Free forms, but um, somebody who's still trying to, you know, figure their life out and become someone, it might be a bit of a challenge unless they become an artist or something of that yeah. nature. So I love them both, but I think it just depends on what you're doing in life that'll allow you yeah. to rock one over the other. That's what I think. Good point. So you think if I had free forms, I couldn't get a job like as a teacher or a um as a manager somewhere um i think it might be a challenge for you because a lot of businesses have a look that they want to go for and so if your hairstyle is too far out of that um they, they might turn you down like some companies don't even allow you to have locks some companies don't even allow wow. you to wear your natural hair. I know of a restaurant natural right here hair. in Atlanta, yeah, who don't let them wear braids. Dang. So, I mean, hair is a big deal to some people. Comment down below, which one do you prefer? Free forms or regular locks? My hair is really blonde, that's crazy. Let's do it. Let's see how it looks, man. All right. Yeah. Yeah. This is different.
the new La Rock. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that color was, no more. It's nice and the color it's supposed to be. That's good. <laughs> Comment down below, what do y'all think? Y'all like it? Yes? No? Let me know. How long do you think my hair is? At this point, a good five inches. Okay. Five inches, y'all heard that, five inches. I'm not even gonna lie. I've been thinking, I would love to date somebody who's like a content creator also. That like would a, be a good idea. But it's like, where do I find those type of people? On TikTok. Instagram. But they be all over the world. Like, I'm talking like in Georgia. I mean, on TikTok, on Instagram, searching hashtags. Sounds crazy, but found my husband on MySpace. Stop it. Uh, BS, you know, MySpace. I in DMs <laughs> like, shout it. I you, need you. You slid first? Yes. I'm so yes. dead. And that is my husband. Do you hear me? That's funny, yo. <laughs> MySpace. <laughs> so, what year was this? 2005. That's crazy. Yeah, I know. So, hey, you know, people don't even really meet in real life anymore. You know, we kind of get to know each other online first, see what that online presence is like. I don't think there's nothing wrong with it. Now you do gotta be aware of the folks that's catfish now. Yeah, I don't want no, I don't want no catfish. It's catfish. A, lot, a lot of catfish happening. That's but you know technology kind of prevents that there's facetime and all of this type of stuff so if y'all video chatting every now and again it's gonna be kind of hard for them to not be who they say they are yeah look for you a really good friend that makes content they can be attractive you can be attracted to them vice versa but you know i wouldn't recommend just trying to date because you hit to people like Diera and Ken, right? Uh, you know, R.I.P. Relationship. <laughs> she said, "R.I.P. I'm dead." They were like a power couple. Ninjas. You know, you know. Boom. Everything was like broadcasted though, and like even how the people found out that he was cheating. You know, it wasn't because she posted it; it's because. Her people of her people of her people of her fan bases of her Instagram watchers, they saw it, you know? Right. So all your business is going to be out there. And it's just easier when you're really good friends with the person. That way, you know, you're not humiliated when they do some dumb stuff. You're just like, oh, that's my idiot friend. So I'm not really phased by it. It's much easier when it's like that. Then as you build your bond and your relationship, y'all get to know each other. Y'all, you know, gain some respect for each other. Then... You can see if that person is even worth being your lady because mm. some of them not. They for the streets, you know? I think that people have, have the most trouble because they have a lot of expectations. Right. And it's just not fair, you know, when you meet a stranger to have so many expectations because you don't know why they're doing what they're doing, why they behave the way that they behave, but you're annoyed by it, like off rip. Like, yeah. for example, I tell people, you know, you go into the date and you like, I hope this person does not chew loud because I'm leaving as soon as they start to eat. But you don't know what they experience on why right. they, they are a loud chewer. You know, maybe they just got a tooth pulled or something weird. But before you even get a chance to know them, you're just annoyed because they chew loud. And now you don't even want to deal with the date. That could have been your soulmate. But Dang. the smallest things got you so turned off because you just have all of these expectations. Go in with no expectations and just see how much more fun you have. Literally go in just like, I want to just learn what this person is about. Ask uncomfortable questions like, what's your body count? Ooh. You know? <laughs> I feel like that's too personal though. But that's the whole point. I can't ask that on the first date now. Why not? Ask, if you ask a girl that on the first date, she's probably not going to talk to you again. And that's fine. because And what does that tell you about her? She's not the one? Or, she probably oh, got a lot of bodies. Okay, okay. Okay? Right, okay? Right, 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 That's the whole point of asking the uncomfortable questions. Right. That way you get to see them for them and not who they pretend to be. You ever heard of people saying stuff like, you know, when you date people, it's the representative that you meet in. You ever heard of that? Uh, Not really. So, you know what a representative is, right? Just like the person that comes out to help you find your seat. Yeah. And then it's... So when you're dating, 
for that first however long it's just a representative it's just the person that you're you're just the person that you really want to be not who you're really going to be you know right in real life you're probably messy and don't clean up after yourself but your representative you know when you're dating you're cleaning up you're holding doors you're doing all these things because you want to make a good impression but that's not really who you are and what you do right you don't truly show that part until you've gotten a little comfortable so get the people super uncomfortable super uncomfortable first and then that way they're gonna look at you sideways they're gonna see like okay what is this person really on but from there you'll have some true stuff substance some true conversation right have you know and not you know well who's your favorite influencer well, I love Beyonce. Oh, <laughs> you know that's surface level stuff that doesn't get you anywhere all right bet my next date i'm gonna be like so what's your body count and if she slaps me i'm blaming you okay? why would she slap you <laughs> like that that's abuse okay you're abusive and i'm blaming I you i need not do do blame me for helping you see the violence in her all right guys so we just got done actually let me fix it fix my lens but yeah we just got done shout out to makaya for always you know hooking me up staying true but bro my face right now is just like is being pulled i got these braids you know what i'm saying let me get close to the mirror you know what i'm saying i haven't got my hair braided in a minute but this is you know i like it this is what's up Wake up, okay. Yeah, yeah, I shoot at your butt. Yeah, yeah, I shoot at your shoe. Yeah, I'm taking right.